folks, Engineer 775. Between jobs, we like to work. <laughs> and we work on innovations and messing with people. No, sorry to Sinclair. This, this solar canopy has been, I think, one of the most useful things I have built at a ground mount in a long time. So we use it every day and it just works awesome. We use it for experiments. We got a micro inverter experiment on it. It is DC, AC DC coupled to a 15K at this point. Um, actually the micros are going to the 18K and it also runs one of the EG4 high efficiency air conditioners in that little warehouse building of ours. Um, we're gonna change that up today. We're gonna, we got a new experiment. So between jobs, we innovate. So I'm gonna build, I've been wanting to do a vertical solar fence for a while. So I'm gonna build a vertical solar array, a north-south facing, slightly east. Again, every property is a little different. I try to maximize solar production. But for the most part, it's a north-south vertical solar array that I'm gonna put out here. So I've got customers now asking about different agrivoltaics, mixing agriculture and solar. And one of the things that comes up is, can you get the solar either high enough or to make it as non-intrusive as possible? And that's why the vertical solar works, where you just have, uh, obviously, vertical solar panels that are in portrait or landscape. And then you can plant your crops in between the rows. So we also find that people want privacy fences they want to hide stuff. So I'm going to build one here today, a seven panel, 450 watt panels, uh, just a seven panel array using Sinclair's posts and purlins and our KB solar panels. We're just going to put up seven, seven panels. And what that's going to run is going to be that air conditioner I mentioned. And we're going to take it off of this canopy, rewire the canopy to maximize some of the strengths and step them up from seven to eight panel strings and take that load off of this canopy and shift it over to my house. Also, my utility changed their solar policy, making it a little more attractive to interconnect. So that's another reason why I'm, why I'm rewiring and doing some things differently. This is going to be solely off-grid meaning it's just going to run that air conditioner, um, heating and cooling. I just use it to keep customers' equipment in good shape. Um, sometimes a job can take up to a year if it's new construction, so I'll keep their inverters and batteries and everything dehumidified and in good shape in there. And it's We work in there, too, so it's nice for humans. So we're going to just pound in two posts, just like we would build a Sinclair ground mount. A couple of posts with a 160-inch lead in. We're going to and if you can tell on a two post Sinclair, you can get seven panels along there with cantilevers. So we're gonna put two posts, no trusses, drill the post, mount purlins, put up seven panels with cants, and then I'm gonna trench down and pick up the disconnect that goes to my air conditioning unit. So just again, so, just thankful to have a piece of property where I can play. So solar nerds unite. Um, so we're just trying different things in between jobs. And, uh, you know, jobs get kind of repetitive and boring. I mean, they're still fun. They're all custom. But if I just take a couple, a day a week to do something weird, <laughs> I'm, I do much better. So, so we're going to... Let's see what this vertical solar looks like. Tell me what you think. Okay, two posts in with a 160 inch start between them and then put up two purlins. We're coming down just to make it easy. We're coming down exactly a foot. We're gonna attach the first purlin and that will put the solar panel about four inches above the top of the post. So when you're looking at this fence, you're not gonna see any steel except for a little bit at the bottom, about 18 inches underneath. And for weed eating, lawn mowing, whatever, cows eating, and then uh, that'll cover the top. And then, of course, you'll see a little bit of pearl in between the, between the panels. 
Okay, the vertical solar fence prototype is up. Prototype meaning I'm using the Sinclair ground mount, traditional ground mount material. I didn't change anything, just took away the trusses and struts. So all I had to do in the Sinclair was drill four holes in the C-channel. I could add a strong back, but I don't think I need it. So this is just a prototype. There's a couple different ways we could wire the back, but this is the back side where you see the steel and the wiring. So if you're positioning a fence, of course you'd want to place it where it's most attractive. Like if I was, I, think, I was thinking about if I did my whole fence line, I also have 1,200 feet of road frontage down there. I was thinking, what would that look like? Um, so I've got a customer who's interested, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and build one. And this is a seven panel, seven 450s. I have them currently wired to an EG4 mini split that I use them for my little warehouse. It works really well. And there's about 1,800 watts coming off of this array going to the air conditioner, which is an AC-DC unit. And, well, clouds went over. It's probably a little less. So let me know what you think. I was trying to hide as much of the steel. So you just saw panels. And uh, that's the final product. A couple other, what, what else did we do? It's just direct tie. So we used the same KD Solar 450s with the 5 16 13 serrated flange nuts and bolts we have cantilevers on here just like we would normally build a ground mount except we did it vertically and took a few pieces off so this is an, an approved product by the way because i know i'm going to get in trouble with sinclair I just can't help myself so i think it looks good i think it has a place it's, of course, not going to perform like a normal solar array, but imagine the agrivoltaics concept where you have appropriate spacing between the arrays and you're farming your row crops or whatever in between, and it's not burning up much space, but the entire pasture could be made as a north-south um, I don't know. I'm just, you could run it any way you wanted to. <laughs> um, so obviously it's to your advantage to follow the terrain. So I don't know how much flexibility, like if I was to follow a terrace, what that would look like and how much I could get away with. Of course you could start over. You wouldn't have to connect them per se. You could start over and pick another post and, and leave a little bit of a gap, maybe a big gap if you're worried about the wind load. Uh, but of course, the Sinclair is designed where I could splice onto this and keep going for infinity. And But then I'm like, okay, hard to find that flat of terrain. I could start over, pick a new section. I can do 160 sections. I could do shorter sections. The, the Sinclair ground mount is so forgiving meaning you just you have no idea how many times customers have put something together wrong and we've been able to bail them out with a few holes drilled and adjust something build you can build it backwards forwards i mean within reason you can't go crazy you gotta not uh, build it out of spec but people make mistakes and it's already in the concrete and then you gotta you know make a decision so i think i could follow some terraces it might be fun or I could just do sections of the fence where the panels, where the steel isn't touching, but I have to change height up or down and then start a new level. You've seen that on fences where you've just, you stair step to match the terrain. So that's it. So let me know what you think. This is engineer 775. I'm just going to run it with the air conditioner for a while. Now the solar aircon app isn't the best on Android, so I'll try to get some data off of it to see if I can get some charts and graphs to see how this thing behaves. I did turn it a little bit southeast because for me, east, the sun and the summer comes up over there and the winter comes up over there. And then I start getting into, on the west side, more trees. This is Engineer 775 signing out. If you need some help, we do have our consultation service. I do three or four a week, 
And so I can help you there. Send me an email. Uh, PM me on YouTube. Whatever you got to do. All right. Let me know if I can help. 